Omaha proposes bans on ghost guns and some accessories just about a month after Nebraska's new open carry law begins. LB 77 allows gun owners to conceal carry without a permit or training, also forced the city to repeal old gun ordinances. KETV Newswatch 7's Alex McLoon spoke with the city council president. Alex joins us live. Julie, Rob, newly proposed regulations are expected to become law later this year. The city council president calls it common sense. Regulations to rebuild Omaha's gun laws now that most Nebraskans 21 and older can carry without permits or training. It is quite limiting under the bill what we can pursue, but we are confident we can pursue these common sense approaches. City Council President Pete Festerson is proposing two local laws and two resolutions after input from the police chief and city attorney. The first proposal bans ghost guns, unfinished components assembled into a functioning firearm untraceable with no serial number. I think it's just an emerging issue that police are worried about, an item where people can sometimes order kits in the mail, sometimes assemble guns with 3D printers, things that aren't guns when you get them but become guns. The second proposed ordinance bans multi-burst activators or devices like bump stocks. The other components to Omaha's new gun regulations are resolutions or positions adopted by city council. One supports the mayor's executive order banning firearms from city properties like buildings and parks. Another supports safe gun storage like lock boxes. Experts say most gun owners don't safely store their weapons and that kids are at high risk of unintentional death by firearm. LB 77 failed to recognize that cities face different circumstances and need to have local control when it comes to public safety. Violations carry a $500 fine or up to six months in jail enforced across Omaha city limits. City Council will hold a public hearing and vote on these regulations October 31st, expected to become law about a week later. Reporting live at City Hall, Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7. All right, thanks for the update, Alex.